As you know that in any three phase motor to turn on and off motor this type of contactor is required. But today in this video we are not going to use this contactor. In place of this we will use a solid state relay and through this relay we will turn on and off this motor. Also here is a twist that to operate this relay we are using a sensor. As soon as target comes near to sensor motor turns on and when target is removed motor turns off. So how wiring is to be done and what is solid state relay all these things will be understood through this video. So friends let's start the video. To turn on and off a motor or any other load contactor is used. Contactor is used here because the contact in contactor like if I turn on this contactor then a little sparking is generated inside. Whenever there is a contact in electrical circuit a sparking is generated. So to reduce this sparking and along with this to turn on and off heavy loads from a distance this type of contactor is used. As I told you when using this contactor when we turn this on sparking is generated. Now if you place this contactor in hazardous area means you want to use this where chances of catching fire is more then in that condition this will catch fire because air sparking is generated. So in any hazardous area if you want to turn on and off a load then you have to use this type of solid state relay. When using this relay no sparking is generated. Apart from this you can see that when I turn on the contactor a knocking sound occurs. But if you use this type of solid state relay then on operating this no sound occurs. Also when you operate contactor there is a time delay. Like when I press this the power supply will go to the contactor and it will take time to start maybe some milliseconds. But when you use this type of relay there will be fast switching. This means the moment you turn on this relay it will be turned on instantly. Compared to contactor relay does fast switching. Apart from this in the solid state relay the voltage to control this is much more. You can see on this relay here 90 to 280 volt AC is written. It means by providing 90 to 280 volt we can operate this relay. But in our contactor it is written 230 volt. Only 10% of 230 volt can be more or less as adjusted by the contactor. If you provide 90 volt power supply to contactor then it won't turn on. To operate this plus minus 10 volt of rated voltage can be adjusted only. So the limitations I told you about contactor can be overcome by using this type of solid state relay. The solid state relay I have now is manufactured by CNC company. The solid state relay I have is a three phase solid state relay. Apart from this the single phase solid state relay is also available as per your application you can use single phase or three phase solid state relay. I already made a video on single phase solid state relay so you can watch on my channel. For now let's understand the working and wiring of three phase solid state relay. First let us discuss about the power wiring of this relay. To perform power wiring what you have to do simply is the three phase incoming power supply you have among the three the R phase power supply you have take the R phase supply and connect with A1 terminal. At B1 terminal connect Y phase power supply and at C1 terminal you have to connect B phase power supply. Now I want to turn on and off this motor so all the wires of motor that is R, Y, B take all the three wires and to this relay at A2, B2, C2 terminals connect the wires with these terminals. So I am connecting R phase at A2 terminal, Y phase at B2 and B phase wire at C2 terminal. This much is the power wiring of this relay. Now we want to operate this relay. For this I am using a sensor. The sensor which I have now contains two wires and operate at AC power supply. The connection of this sensor is very simple. What you have to do is take one wire among the two and to this three phase power supply connect this wire with any one phase supply. So I am connecting this wire with B phase power supply. Take other wire of this sensor and in this solid state relay you can see the two terminals over here. These two terminals are for controlling. So with any one of these two terminals I will connect this wire. Friends listen to me carefully. This relay I have works on AC power supply. This is why I used AC power supply. If your relay works on DC power supply then in that condition you have to use DC power supply for controlling. 
So we provided phase supply to this relay. To operate this relay, we also need to provide neutral power supply. For this, in this MCB where the neutral terminal is present, connect one wire with that terminal and take the other end of the wire and in this relay at the second terminal, connect the wire with this terminal. To operate this relay, power wiring and control wiring both are completed. Now I am turning on the MCB. After turning on MCB, if I bring an object near to sensor, then you can see motor is turned on. On removing object, motor turns off. To make solid state relay, whole electronic circuit is used. Means you can say that a triac is used which is present inside, through which circuit is turned on and off. When using triac inside relay, no other mechanism is required. And this is why when we turn on this relay, no sparking is generated and even no sound occurs. The sound which is coming is only from motor. No sound is coming from this relay. I can show you. I turned this off. Let's disconnect the wires of the motor. After disconnecting wire, now let's operate this relay. You will observe that no sound is coming. I am operating this relay but you can see no sound is coming. So friends, I hope you understood that how solid state relay works and how wiring is done. If you liked my video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching the video.